Hey guys, I am back for the next video, and today we're going to be talking about Missouri and uh, Louisiana, where Biden and Pisaki are having some quite difficult issues. I think the left is having a lot of difficult issues uh, this past week. Honestly, the past month, they've just been taking L's and more L's. And uh, it's, good. it's just nice to see, because they lose, they just go insane... They continue to be insane, and they just don't know what to do with themselves. It's quite honestly uh, hilarious. And I am here, um, and I am here, we're here, to witness it all. As they go down in shambles. Here, we have Missouri and Louisiana sue Biden, Pasaki, and other officials for alleged collusion with social media companies. Oh, it's totally not like we haven't seen this. I mean... didn't, wasn't there like a report where the where the White House was working with social media companies beforehand? So I mean, the attorney the attorneys general of Louisiana and Missouri say the Biden administration engaged in a pernicious campaign to both pressure social media giants to censor and suppress speech. Well, I mean, that's not really surprising either, considering that they committed the the um, the Ministry of Truth Ministry of Truth and. Uh, and they're dismissing and with the, along with their disinformation board. So yeah, I mean that's not really surprising. And they most likely want to use the media to silence people and their speech because you know what what other would not a dictator want to do? A new lawsuit claims the Biden administration uses fight against misinformation to violate the First Amendment. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt and Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Laundrie contend that top government officials have unfairly blocked speech they did not like from the modern public square. Under the guise of stopping the spread of false information about COVID-19, election integrity, and other topics. Oh my. Ooh. That's not good. Ooh. Freedom of speech is a paramount to a healthy society and discourse, debate, and discussion. Have been the the cornerstone of our country since the founders codified that right in the Bill of Rights, Schmidt said in a press release. Yes, and let's try to keep that as long as possible. Uh, I don't know why we want to try to get rid of these uh, the freedom of speech. Um, well, I know why, because they want power. But that's that's honestly that's really the main reason. What am I saying here? Missourians and Americans are u- use social media platforms, which are now ubiquitous in our modern society, to discuss topics like the efficacy of masks and the veracity of the lab leak theory, the Attorney General plea added. He said the federal government has been engaged in pernicious campaign to both pressure social media giants to censor and suppress speech and work directly with those platforms to achieve that censorship. I will not stand idle, idly by while the Biden administration attempts to trample on the First Amendment rights of Missourians and Americans, said Schmidt. The official said President Joe Biden, White House Press Secretary Jim Psaki, Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, Fauci, whatever his name is, who cares about his name, U.S. Surgeon General Vivek H. Murthy and other officials colluded with companies including Meta, Twitter, and YouTube to remove accurate information that challenged ideological viewpoints. Having threatened and cajoled social media platforms for years to censor viewpoints and speakers disfavored by the left, senior government officials and the executive branch have moved into a phase of open collusion with social media companies to suppress disfavored speakers, viewpoints, and content on social media platforms under the Orwellian guise of halting so-called disinformation and misinformation and malinformation, the suit reads. Other defendants include Secretary of Health and Human Services Xavier Becerra, the Department of Health and Human Services, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Jen Easterly, and Disinformation Governance Board Executive Director Nina Jankowicz. How did she even get on there? Like, come on, man. She has a TikTok. She has a TikTok. Oh, God. Oh, it's a meme. It's just a meme. 
The attorney generals have accused the defendants of intentionally colluding and coordinating with each other, thereby empowering social media platforms to identify disfavored speakers, viewpoints, content, and thus have procured the actual censorship and suppression of the freedom of speech. Yeah, which um, their misinformation board is uh, a direct violation of the First Amendment. Ripped from the playbook of Stalin and his ilk, Biden has been colluding with big text to censor free speech and propagandize the masses. Laurenti said in a statement to Newsmax, We are fighting back to ensure the law, rule of law and prevent the government from unconstitutional banning, chilling, and stifling of speech. The lawsuit says the Biden administration used Section 230 of the Community Decency Act to assist in the coordinated effort to silence certain groups and people online. The federal government subsidized, fostered, encouraged, and empowered the creation of a small number of massive social media companies with disproportionate ability to censor and suppress the speech on the basis of speaker content and viewpoint. While the government has said it only purse extreme or dangerous views, the lawsuit argues it used its relationship with social media to also block perfectly legitimate responsible viewpoints and speakers. This is correct because we all know that Facebook, when it was going on with the whole uh, the election was stolen back when that happened in uh, of last year. Uh, Facebook actively removed the post that had 230,000 to 300,000 people that was that was saying that. And we all know that Twitter has banned uh, has banned President Donald Trump from the from from it as well. He they also banned Milo Minneapolis and I mean and I may believe Sargon of Akkad on their platforms and they're all like right winning. I like right leaning or rather it would be more in the center to be honest. And we have seen pretty much none of the left get banned. And it's also been proven that they have been censoring people as of yesterday uh, with the article that they've been censoring people. So yeah, it's it's 100% true and they're only censoring one side. They do it on YouTube as well. They don't just do it on like just those platforms. They do it on YouTube and everywhere, and it's a huge problem. They're right about this, and with the whole disinformation board, it's even closer to the truth. Because why else would they make it? Especially why would they make it after two days uh, in a month by Twitter? So I mean, yeah, we don't want to say he's not a dictator, but he's a dictator. In April of 2021, lawmakers in Louisiana supported a bill that allowed state residents to sue major social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for up to 75000 if they believe their content was censored or deleted. The platform has to have over 75 million users to potentially subject to legal action under Senate Bill 196, otherwise known as the Stop Social Media Censorship Act. The measure died in committee. The new legal effort to protect residents of Louisiana and Missouri from social media censorship filed a lawsuit in the United States District Court of the Western District of Louisiana. All right. Well, I really hope that they uh, that they win this. Uh, there's a lot of evidence showing that they have been doing this, um, and it's against the First Amendment, obviously. Uh, I, I so. It's not really surprising. And this person here decides to lie consistently over and over again. So uh, take it as you will. Yeah, it, this needs to happen. We need to get our freedom of speech back. I know Elon Musk is doing a good job or he's attempting to do a good job to get our freedom of speech back. We'll see what happens. It's still up in the air with him. He may or may not. But it, I, people say it can't be worse with him having hold of Twitter. So, we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully, everything goes smooth. We get the we get this W. Um, for right now, the track record is we're winning a lot of these things, so things are going kind of well. Uh, and uh, they should they should be in trouble. There should be a lot more lawsuits going against them too, because the disinformation board is such a such a huge violation of the First Amendment that it's just insane how that's even remotely be able to come up. So. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, boys and girls. All right, guys, that's that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching this clip of from my uh, from my podcast that is that I make every day, Monday through Friday. Um, 
3 o'clock p.m. PST to all the way to 5 o'clock p.m. PST. If you like what you see, please be please subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.